Hello everyone, good morning and welcome back to our channel. Again, I'm Eduardo Gulpan. And in today's video guys, I'm going to show you on how to use my loan database. But before that, if you are new to this channel and wants to learn more about Microsoft Access, then guys, you're in the right channel. Please subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. So without further ado, let us start. So this is my sample database. Click this. And here I go. This is our simple login form. But before we log in, let us click the about. So this is my WhatsApp number and also my email ad. So if you want to contact me, feel free to contact. And then if you want to watch again this tutorial, this demo, you can click this link. So let's close. Now let us log in using the admin user account. Password is 123. Let us see. So this is my default one because uh, so that we can still remember. So here we go guys. So dashboard, let's go to dashboard. But as you can see, there's no record yet. But later on, we will go back here because I will let you see the release loan, collection, projected interest, and also the interest gain. So these four features is very important, especially when you are doing with loans. And also my updates for today, month to date, and year to date updates. For these four pictures so now guys um let's proceed to loan calculator so for example someone wants to have a simple competition for 100,000 loans and in the interest is three percent and in loan date is today fl 11 2024 and then guys the terms is per month for example three months and then payment frequency, I have four payment frequency here. Daily, weekly, monthly, and semi-monthly. I included the daily, daily guys, because here in the Philippines, we have called araw araw, no? The daily kind of payments. So usually Mumbai or Bombay, but that is really Mumbai guys, not Bombay. So for example, semi-monthly. Calculate, here we go. So. This is the loan amortization schedule. And by the way, guys, this kind of method is uh, what we call the straight line method, not a, dimish, not a diminishing method. So the interest on the principal is divided equally uh, according to months. And what if sample weekly? So automatically compute. And then what if they want to get a copy of this sample uh, computation so you can just click this preview and then control p and then there you go to print details and amortization schedule now guys let us proceed to the actual loan application so loan date example um 12 and then uh, borrower id so, for example, uh, borrower na, borrower one. Um, actually, guys, uh, borrower name I put something like this because YouTube automatically detects a, a name. Even it's a it's a dummy or a fake name, but um, they assume that it's real name, real records, and they will send me a notice of violation. That's why I put like this. So, for example, borrower one, and then if they want to have a comaker, okay, for example, comaker, and then for the loan type, we have regular, educational, emergency, and renew, but the default one is regular, and then for example, 50,000, and then processing fee is 100, interest rate is 5% per month, payment terms is, for example, 5 months. Other charges, none. But if you have charges like um, or deduction, so you can you can put a value and also specify. And then previous balance, so you can also put here deduct. And then guys, the net release. So fifty thousand minus one hundred pesos, so one hundred dollars processing fee. So the net release this one. And then payment frequency, weekly, semi-monthly, monthly. Okay, I didn't include it here, the weekly. So only just in the loan calculation. But in my final database, it's really included. 
So, semi monthly, and then reviewed by. So, for example, guys, this one. But if you want to add the real name, so you can just put here. For example, add Golpan. Okay, a prober, not a clerk. Okay, add Golpan. Trial loan. Okay, let us click this generate amortization schedule for this. But please enter first the, the payment date because um, there are borrowers guys that they wanted to pay earlier so or according to to their um, convenient or I don't know so for example 15 first payment date 15 then generate okay here we go guys so this is the loan application, uh, I mean the loan amortization schedule. And then, as you can see, open, the status is open. So, so that it will proceed to poor approval, the next step is poor approval. We have to click this poor approval. Then, okay. So, we have now one for approval. So, this one, borrower one. And in the details, will be seen here once we click. And then, approve. Okay, transaction approved successfully. Then it will proceed to releasing. Then, uh, print and release. So here we go. So this is the details and then amortization schedule and then recommending approval. And then um, the signature. So let's print and close. So guys, let us proceed to the payment. So payment. Now, um, for example, if you have a lots of, by the way, guys, uh, let's. If uh, what if you have a lots of customer, you have a lots of borrowers, so you can just uh, search using this magnifying glass. For example, borrower one. Okay, this one. Oh. Okay, automatically it will uh, the name will be reflected here and then loan. Okay, the loan of borrower number one. Oh, sorry, okay, borrower number one. That's correct. And as you can see, guys, payment amount zero. So we will create a payment at 2500, 2500 sample. Then, for example, cash, okay, post, posted, and then let us create another payment. Okay, this one, oh, we have already 2,500. Let us click, uh, create, for example, um, 5,000. Mm, bank transfer, trial, post. Okay, and then by the way, guys, if you have a lots of uh, records to be recorded in your payment entry, then you can use this one, guys, upload. So from your Excel file, and then check here if uh, all the records are imported successfully. Now, guys, let us go to loan balance and let us see. Okay, borrower number one. So this is the loan and then if we click this we can see the payments so this is the two payments that we have entered 2500 and then the 5000 5, also so he has a total balance of 55000 okay and then all of his loans will be reflected here by the way guys i have also uh, created a credit limit so as you can see it's red because he is beyond with his allowable loan now um, let's create another loan application for example still the same person it's okay to have no co-maker loan amount um, 30,000 processing fee, zero interest rate, 5%, 
two months okay payment frequency monthly reviewed by ed then by the way this one and approval sorry generate okay approval and then for releasing it will proceed to for releasing there we go now let us check here loan balance let's type the name or press F2 guys F2 okay one then here we go automatically so number three no payments recorded if you want to print this one you can click this okay so uh, the history of his loans other one is a uh, borrowers list this is the borrower li borrowers list and then if you want to add okay you can add then what else are uh, reports so reports guys by the way you can change this one but this is the default uh, the first month uh, first day of the month and the last day of the month so payment schedule now let us wait okay so let's go back to our dashboard here we go guys so now we have 80,000 release loan to D and also the month of date so still 80 and then what if the collection okay collection we have payments 7,500 and also the projected interest 15,000 but we have actual interest gain 1,500 so let's proceed to settings so if you want to change a company company name for example this one abc lending corporation so you can change her for example ecg lending corporation okay and then i want to change my logo so sample this one click ok and then background you can also uh, change but I don't like to change close let us start again guys here we go guys our logo uh, has been changed and also ECG Lending Corporation let us log in again settings I think this is enough uh, by the way guys um this database is um uh, what we call this one a multi user database that's why we have this one and also you can set the um, access rights to them if the if you don't want to give them the rights for reports you can uncheck for a balance contribution member entry for the dashboard so you can you can check for example, this one, Piolo Pascual, let us log in. Piolo. But I don't know the password. Let us check. Log in. Okay. Piolo. I think password is still password. Sorry. Password. Log in. Please change your password. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Piolo. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So Piolo has no access to the dashboard. And also, uh, Piolo has no access to the loan balance, contrib uh, reports, contribution. So this one. So it's up to you. So because this one are members contribution because we uncheck so i think this is enough if you have some questions you know what to do you can just comment it down below so that's all guys thank you and see you to my next video